everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm giving you my first impression of this Revlon Curl Magic Curling Wand. Now, I wanted to go get this all because of Miss Glamorazzi and her recent video on how she styles her shorter hair. I've never tried one of these bubble wands before, so I wanted to give it a try on camera for you guys and this is the final result. I did pick this up at Walmart for under $25, so it is pretty, pretty reasonable as far as price goes because I know the one that Miss Glamorazzi used was in that new me set that was like a hundred bucks after the coupon code. So if you guys want to see my first impression of this curling wand as well as how I got this final result and also I do mention a few of my favorite hair products that I have been using recently then please keep watching. So as far as my hair goes all I did last night was prep it a little bit. I just got a shower and then blow dried it. So this is what my hair looks like just blow dried and then I slept on it and if you want to see how I blow dry my hair I have a whole video on that and I'll link it down below. But now I'm going to use some of this Tresemme heat tamer spray just to spray through my ends. And then I'm just going to brush through my hair so there's no tangles in it. And this is my favorite brush of all time. I've actually talked about this a lot and even gave one away over on Instagram a while ago. But this is the Tangle Teaser and I love it. You can get it at Sally's for like $12 or $15 and it's fantastic. So here's what the wand looks like out of the packaging and from what I can tell this is a newer version because in the videos that I looked up before doing this um, little review the top of this ball was pink so I think there was an older version and just to keep in mind this is hot right now and this ball at the top is plastic so this part doesn't get hot the rest of it does and as far as the settings go there is a low to maximum high level and this does get up to 400 degrees and there's also an on off switch and they're both on the sides of like the front of the curling wand so that's nice because hopefully I won't hit them when I'm curling this also does come with a heat resistant glove which I am going to wear because whenever I use new curling wands I seem to burn myself so on the packaging this actually says that if you wrap it in between these little sections you get more of a spiral curl and then if you wrap it on the actual bubbles you get more whimsical waves so I am going to actually try to wrap it on the bubbles because in Miss Glamorazzi's video it looks like she kind of tries to do that so I am going to set this down and get started now this is going to be a little bit hard because I actually don't have a mirror in front of me. I have the viewfinder and then a handheld mirror, so I'm going to try my very best. But I'm going to take about a one inch section of my hair in the back, and I'm just going to take the curling wand and start wrapping it around, hopefully somewhat getting it on the bubbles. I have no idea. So I did get a little bit of a curl there, and it's really hard with this glove because I normally touch my hair to see when it's hot on the curling wand, and with this, I can't do it. So I'm actually going to try to take this off because I like feeling how hot my hair gets to know when to take the hair off of the actual barrel. So I'm going to keep going and hopefully I don't burn myself. But I'm going to take another one inch section and try this again. So after three curls, that's what we're working with right now. And I'm not totally happy yet, but I think it's my fault because I'm not being super consistent with actually getting it on the bubbles or in between. So I'm going to try to do it a little bit better, but it's really hard actually not being able to see what I'm doing, but I'm just going to keep going and see what we come up with. Now, I don't know if I said it, but I am on about medium heat because I do have fine thin hair and I do like keeping the wands a little bit hotter because I feel like the curl stays in my hair a little bit better. But one thing I'm not loving is that the curls don't slide off really smoothly off the barrel, which I understand because of all these bubbles. But I did like that with my Remington curling wands because I could really catch the curl and hold it there for a few seconds. Now that I have this lower portion curled, I'm going to go into my favorite hairspray and at the moment it is this L'Oreal Locket Fine Control Hairspray and this is the number three stronghold. I've been loving this stuff. My mom actually got it for me I think for Easter and it just works really really well so I'm just gonna give it a really light spray of that and then take down the rest of my hair. So so far I think it's pretty good. The only problem is is that I think I can go up on heat just a little bit with my hair because I am on medium heat um, and another thing is I do let my hair twist as it goes around the barrel and that's just how I've always curled my my hair instead of keeping it really flat but I have gotten the hang of actually catching them and I think the curls are really pretty and really I'm just getting this because I want a different look so I really feel like so far I am getting that so I just added a little bit more hairspray because now I'm pretty much done as far as I can tell I have all of my hair curled and now I want to talk to you a little bit about this curling wand for starters I definitely could have bumped up the heat a little bit for this whole 
tutorial. It's been on two notches above medium. And with my Remington curling wands, I do keep those on about 392, which is really close to 400. I never realized that, but that would be turning this baby all the way up. This was not the easiest thing to use. It's probably just because I've never used one like this before. I really just am used to the really smooth barrels, but I did get the hang of catching the curls and letting them sit in my hand a little bit towards like this section of my hair, but I definitely think it gave my hair more of a different curl than my typical curling wands because I was really hitting different parts of this every time I curled. So some parts of my hair are a little more curled, some are less curled, but I definitely think that I could play around with it and find a lot of different looks. Obviously I'm going to have to play around with this wand a little bit more, but I do plan on keeping it and I really did like it. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my future videos. Make sure to also check out my previous two videos that I'll have linked right over there for you guys. And also all of my social media stuff will be listed down below as well. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.